Peace. This is Coach Kyrie, and you're checking out Coach K TV. And today is how to carve a pineapple. And it's not just how to carve a pineapple, but when to carve a pineapple. I go to the store, and I have my most, the, my longest conversations around the pineapple section. Now I study in some tree, understand that I need a lot of enzymes, and pineapples is one of the best fruits for enzymes. I go to the store, everybody just buying them up like this, especially down here in Atlanta. They go and they get it like this, and you know, they take it right over to the guy, and he puts it in the machine, and he peels it, and then they take it home, and they say, ooh, but what about you all who eat a pineapple like this, and your tongue starts to like swell up on the inside of your mouth, and you know, you say, oh, I'm allergic to pineapples. No, this is too acidic. This pineapple, green, is too acidic. That's why it's supposed to be called a golden pineapple. It's not ripe yet. So when you get it from the store, don't peel it yet. It's not ready. It's like a green banana. You gotta, you gotta wait a few days. Now, how do I know if the pineapple is going to be sweet? I know this sounds funny, but you smell the butt. The butt of the pineapple. Ah, if it don't smell sweet, don't get it. That's it. They got a whole thing out there. If it don't smell sweet and it's not super green, don't get it. Now, if you're impatient, you may see a pineapple like this and be like, oh, it's all rotten. Even this pineapple is still not ready. This pineapple is still not ready because it's still got greens on it, right? But it's almost ready. And I'm going to show you how to make it all the way ready where it's sweet all the way through. So let's talk about science for a second. This pineapple has been upright his whole life. Wouldn't you agree? Yeah. So most of the sugar is down here in the bottom, right here. But I want, and when you cut a pineapple in half, you'll see this is noticeably sweeter than this top half. So I want all of the, I want the whole pineapple to be sweet. So I'm gonna cure it like a marijuana leaf or like a ham or anything that you hang upside down so all so gravity helps you pull down the sweetness the sugar from here down here simple sugar too not complex sugar we want to deal with simple sugars all right so i'm going to take this one and it's not ready so i do other things like with, with this pineapple before you know while it's in the process of just getting ready right so i use this as a secondary offering any of you have seen my other videos, you know what I'm talking about. But this video, this one is like almost ready. Maybe I'll say about three more days. I'm looking for it to be golden. So how do I get the sugar here upside down? Ooh, that one smells crazy sweet. Yeah, you should smell it. You twist the neck off. Don't cut it. Twist the neck. Turn it upside down. Wow. You can put it in a bowl if you want. And just let it sit. Let it sit on the counter. If you want to let it sit in some sunlight for a little while, that's fine. But just twist the neck off, turn it upside down. If you need to put it in a bowl, or if you just want to sit it up, but this one is yeah, it's trying to fall. So I can just sit it here, and I'll just let it sit there for a few days until it gets golden. Throw these out. I think there's some videos about how you can start a pineapple plant using these. I don't know how to do that. Another video. So, let's say this, we fast forward with this. When it gets golden, I put it in the refrigerator the night before I want to eat it. Yeah, so it's cold and ready to eat as I chop it up. There's benefits of being the chopper. So now I'm going to leave this one here. And I'm going to show you what this looks like after it's been in the refrigerator show you a golden pineapple. So come on to the refrigerator. Wow. Look at that. Golden. Ready. Now if you find one in the grocery store that's like this, you can eat him the next day. Whew. Sweet. Nice. Now, this was a smaller pineapple. Probably a little smaller than this one right here. But this one is more neutral not necessarily alkaline but the blood is 7.4999 and 
and that's what the blood is looking for, neutral. The blood ain't looking for um, alkaline all the time unless you have cancer, okay? So I don't have cancer, you don't have cancer. This is what we're looking for. The blood wants this. The cell membranes is gonna let me have this, and it's not gonna inflame my tongue. I'm not gonna get that allergic reaction. So remember, don't eat this one, eat this one, and let it sit. So now it's nice and cold, y'all can feel that. So I like to use like my jagged knife, and then I like to use my big boy knife. Got my chopping board, uh, two bowls, because I got I can make this last me two days. And this is where I put all the outsides, you know, the the, the rinds and things. I bought this. If you want to use it, you can. But I feel like I lose a lot of pineapple. Maybe on a skinny guy, it probably will work cool. But this is very easy. You just stick it in the top and start turning. I got this for like 15 bucks on Amazon. I do like this, but I'm not using it because it takes the core out. It pulls the core right out and the core will be in here. If you all want to eat the core, that's fine. It's too much work on me. So now, here's what we do. We cut the ends off. Traditionally, I already know that still one, one half may be a little sweeter than the other, so I'm going to put half in this bowl and half in this bowl, half in this bowl and half in this bowl, and that way I have proportionally they'll be mixed together. So now I just hit the sides. Make sure you're thinking good thoughts too when you are trimming your pineapple. I want to put love in it. So now I want to get the core out. So I cut it into quarters. And so now the core is right there waiting on me. And I just cut that out. And it's soft on the edge sometimes, and so I knock that out. I'm supposed to because I'm doing all the work. Right? Mmm. 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 And that's the preview of what's getting ready to happen. So you see, now I'm only left. And that's like that's not a big slice either. But the core, I don't like like when I'm eating soft pineapple. And all of a sudden the core gets hard. Mm. Now that all the core is gone, zoom in just a little bit on the knife. So I lay it down. I like to do about, you know, maybe three or four rows. I turn it sideways. Bow, bow, bow. Drop it in the bowl. Done deal. This little piece, you might want to eat that, you might not. Mm. But you gotta eat something for yourself. Boom, boom. Now I'm going to the other bowl. Hack. Bow, bow, bow. Oops. Camera man, camera woman, person. So that kind of noise this person makes behind the camera. <laughs> it's delicious. Bam! All right. And you see, this don't really, this really doesn't take long. And the other thing is, you want to eat your sweets before you eat your food. So, like this also helps activate the digestive system. So if you have a child who doesn't want to eat his veggies and things like that. You go ahead and give them some pineapple, or give them some sweet, give them the dessert first, and then see what happens. Now, I, I know y'all looking and say, well, he's got them in pieces. You know, all that's gonna come out. All that's gonna come out when I start to cut, and when I get the core down.
Works every time, baby. Look, Mom, no core. Mmm. Mm. Taste that right there. Hit that edge. So you like going all the way in. See how far she be like going <laughs> all the way? She likes the core. And that's fine. I don't. It's your own personal preference. So we cut those out. Bam, 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 bam. I'm going to do this one different because I already saw that one side was bigger than the other. And I want this one to be equally distributed. Bam. This, this little guy. And you they just like man hurry up with that and that's all that's how you're supposed to do you're supposed to have them get the knife game sharp wow wow then what i like to do is put some tops on them Shaking this up. Wow. So when I stick my hand in here, I can just have a you know a plethora. I don't know what side it came from now. Bam! And now look at that. So remember, this tastes a whole lot different and it's cold already. It's cold. Look at him. Look how it's getting frosty on the outside. It's already getting frosty. Bam, fresh, sweet pineapple, full of enzymes, ready to go. This is Coach Kair. You've been rocking with the best. I definitely appreciate you. Please subscribe to my channel. If you got any other questions about symptometry or any other videos like that, just put it in the comment section below. Also, check out my site called symptometrybooks.com. Symptometrybooks.com. We have over 70 podcasts that are already recorded on the best health care that you've never heard of. If you are transitioning from eating meat to being a vegetarian or from a vegetarian to eating meat, or if you got any type of diseases, cancer, anemia, uh, STDs, um, addictions to any type of narcotics or anything like that, or any kind of emotional trauma, you might want to come over there. We've done a show on it. You're trying to kick some kind of habit or whatever, please check out some Tometry books. You'll also be able to get the books uh, what to consume, downside of nutrition, all of those books are over on the site. Tons of information. You can also visit symptometry.com and meet Mr. Na Dr. Maxwell Narte. You know, bow, because he's a genius. Symptometry, just like symptom, E-T-R-Y. Root cause therapeutics, we get to the root cause. That's why we, not, but we eat scientifically. That's why we, I eat pineapples all the time. What are some of the other fruits I eat? I eat pineapples, mangoes, guava, seeded watermelons, and I may do a banana every now and then because bananas are high in potassium. Alright? So I don't need the body only needs a little bit of potassium, so don't shut your kidneys down. Alright? And the kidneys boring. That's a whole other video. So thank you. Enjoy. Don't forget. Don't mess with this. A few more days. Right now. Peace.